Hey guys, it's Grizz and it's time to get crafty. I believe in making good first impressions and what better way to do that than to liven up your home with cute and crafty decor. So today we will be making a house number plant box. Let's get ready to DIY. So I have changed into my working outfit and covered my workstation. We can finally start. For the first step, all we have to do is sand. For anything that you do, please put safety first. It is very important to sand out all these rough parts, especially where the wood was cut. So we've sanded our planks. Before you do anything, make sure to wipe off any excess sanding dust. Now that it's sanded, I'm simply going to be gluing these together. Make sure to wipe off any excess glue off the sides with a damp cloth. So now that the glue is dry, we're going to secure the planks together. If you need supervision, please ask for it. It is time to drill holes at the bottom. So I'm drilling the holes so that when I water my plants, the water doesn't get stuck here and rot my wood. If you need supervision, ask for it. So now I've got five holes the bottom. You're now going to attach the box to its back. I'm simply going to be gluing these together. Let it dry for an hour and then we're going to nail it in. So I've got excess glue which I'm going to wipe off with a damp cloth. So the wood glue is dried and I'm going to nail it in just to secure it. Okay so now that they're secure I'm gonna put wood filler into where the nails have created holes. Alright, cool. So once you've put in your wood filler and it has dried, it would be good for you to sand it so it smoothens out the surface, which I have done. Now what I'm gonna do is stain it. I'm using the Boysen Oil Wood Stain in Mahogany. Before you use it, you have to stir it thoroughly and while you're applying it, if you notice, you know, there are certain patches that are a little darker or a little uneven, all you have to do to even it out is take a rag and wipe it. And when you're done staining, remember to leave it for 8 hours. This is how it looks like after the oil wood stain has sat there for 8 hours. And now we are going to apply the timber coat. But before you do that, we have to make sure to lightly wipe off any excess oil wood stain along the grain. Before you use the timber coat, you have to shake it for 20 seconds and then let it sit for 10 minutes. Since I've already done that, I'm going to dive right in. We are going to apply the first coat. And then you gotta let it sit for an hour before you apply the second coat, and after which you let it cure for seven days. All right, so our timber coat has finally dried. My plants are roughly gonna be about this high. I kinda wanna put it like this. Of course, if you have shorter plants or your house number's smaller, you can adjust accordingly. And there we go. Now all we need is to hang it up. And now you're ready to impress your guests. Plus, this DIY was really easy and cheap to make. For more DIY content, head over to Studio B and MyVoiceIn.com. And of course, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!